Edwin, congrats on win number two for Sideline Cancer. We got Marcus Keene, Mo Creek here with us. And before they get out of here and celebrate with some E&J Brandy, men, congrats on the big win. Uh, thank you, man. Thank you. Appreciate it. Appreciate you. Uh, Marcus, my first question is for you, man. Uh, we all know that you are a scorer first and foremost. We know you led the country in scoring back in, in college, if, if people still are forgetting that. But talk to me about Marcus Keene, the point guard today, because you were distributing and making the right play just about every time down the court. I mean, <clears throat> that's what, that's what uh, you know, I knew was going to happen. You know, I've been playing basketball a long time. And even my teammates knew, like, you know, once you – in the tournaments like this and, you know, big time, you know, games, a team doesn't want to let one person beat them. So I know that I've been playing basketball all my life, especially as a scorer. So I knew the game that I had last game, I knew they would do something different, and they did. And I just I, I trust my teammates. That's one thing I've learned from myself, that, you know, I have to trust my teammates. And that's what I did. I trusted my teammates. <clears throat> and, uh, you know, in the healing ending, uh, even, that, even that last point when I had the ball, as much as I really wanted to shoot it, I, had a, I, I found a Remy open who had a way better shot than I did. And so that's what I've learned, that, you know, you got to trust your teammates, and that's what I'm doing. And, you know, to get to that next level that I want to get to, I want to show, you know, whoever's watching that I could be a point guard as well as a scorer. And that's what I try to put on display today. Mo, the Elam ending, you had, you had five key points, including the first big three. How mm -hmm. important in, in momentum and just finishing the game is hitting that first shot out of the timeout? It's very important, you know, because – I don't hit that. We don't know what happens. We don't know if we have, you know, that 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 confidence. I, I have confidence in all my guys, but they keep they, they counted on me to hit that shot, and I knew if I was wide open, it was going down. Just because uh, I had so many big game winning shots and big moments that it's just no pressure. It's just you know what I'm saying, getting the ball and doing what I do best. Fellas, you guys have kind of turned into the darlings of the tournament just in terms of you're playing for a great cause. Everybody's rooting for you, and you guys are really, really fun to watch. How far can you guys go? Uh, you know me. I'm going to say we can go all the way. And I, and I know Mo feels the same way, but, uh, you know, one game at a time. And uh, so we're going we're gonna to celebrate, you know, tonight rest our bodies, and we're going to watch this game right here because we got the winner of this. But uh, we, we know what we have to do, and uh, let's, let's just get to it. I think kind of a good saying moving forward is going to be Mo Creek, Mo Money. That's the mindset you guys got to have. <laughs> Ride that all the way. Uh, obviously, you guys are playing for a, uh, a cause bigger than just the TBT itself. How, how important is that to you guys when you're out on the floor? It's big. Um, like I said earlier uh, to the other person I was talking to, um, we play for the Sideline Cancer Organization, we play for Jermaine. We just – this eye can that, that's, that's highlighted on our jerseys is what, our, what we represent. A lot of people doubt us, you know, and it's been happening every year. You know, we go in last year, we go to Kansas and beat Kansas and Wichita State. Nobody, I, mean, I don't think nobody bought, bought us out here to win them games, or nobody thought we were going to win the games either. Um, but, you know, Kathy Griffin, Jordan Griffin, Charlie, King, E.T., Remy, uh, Ray that's not here with us, Zia that's not here with us. All the people that play for the organization, either play, coach, or is a part of the organization, believe. And now, we you know, we win these games. So I, I think a lot of people are starting to believe just like we are. I think uh, we speak for most of uh, the basketball fans watching that realize, like, you guys are for real. Um, you didn't have to prove it to me and Andrew, but you definitely did to a lot of other people. The last question that I have for you guys um, before we let you go uh, rest up is, you know, obviously you don't know who you play sitting here right now. Um, tell us a little bit about both teams and what you guys see in your eyes uh, for Meta Mackey and Bayheim's Army. Well, we obviously haven't seen Bayheim's Army. We, uh, I figured that they'll probably play zone because they all go to Syracuse. And then Meta Mackey we seen yesterday, uh, they had a guard who, who made tough shots and Justin Dimmitt. So he makes tough shots, and then they had a big duel, a seven-footer. So we know we just got to, you know, we're going to have to keep him off the paint, especially with losing Diamond Stone. But other than that, I mean, we're just going to sit and watch this game. But at the end of the time, they got to come in and uh, guard us too. And I feel like uh, that's where we could space the floor on them and, and use, our, use what we have to an advantage as well. Marcus, when we talked to you a couple weeks ago, I asked you how much longer you'd be able to average your age scoring wise I think you got five to ten more years of doing that congrats again on the win and hopefully we'll be talking to you guys again soon yes sir thank, thank you, you.
Thanks, fellas. Congrats. Appreciate it.